So I had a student from our class email me a question about the problems here. I'm on page 256 of our book. <clears throat> and at the top of the page, it says, consider the equation y equals 3 fourths times x minus 5. And the question was around find x when we were, we're replacing the y's. So I'm guessing that the person who sent me the question didn't have trouble up here and only had trouble down here. But I'm going to start off with uh, the very first one here and we're going to input a number for x to just talk a little bit about how to solve these kinds of equations. So y is equal to 3 fourths x when x is negative 1 minus 5. So in this, everything in the equation is on the right side of the equal sign and we're solving for y. Well, I can either distribute this or I can take care of what's in the parentheses first. And I'm going to do what's in the parentheses first. So I get y is equal to 3 fourths times negative 6. And then I'm just multiplying a fraction. So 3 times negative 6 would give us negative 18. And negative 18 is not going to be divisible by 4 and get a whole number. Oops. Using my graphing calculator, negative 18 divided by 4 gives us a decimal of negative 4.5. or four and a half if you wanted to put that back as a fraction. Now let's take that same equation, y equals 3 fourths x minus 5, and we're going to solve for x this time because we're going to replace the variable y. So in this case, 0 is equal to 3 fourths x minus 5. And on the left side of the equation, it feels uncomfortable to have a zero there, but we're going to be moving things here to get the x by itself. Um, and zero just means right now there's nothing on the left side of the equation. So the first thing we want to do is multiply that 3 fourths using distributive property to both things inside the parentheses. So we get 3 fourths x minus 15 over 4. Now at this point, I'm seeing that I have fractions for both of them with a, a, denominator, of four, a denominator of four. I'm going to multiply the entire equation by its reciprocal four, so then I'm not going to have to deal with having fractions anymore. So four times three is 12, and 12 divided by four gives us three. So this would just be three x. 4 times 15 is 60, and 60 divided by 4 it goes back to 15. It's a negative 15. And 4 times 0 gives us 0. So now I want to get the x by itself. I'm going to add the 15 to both sides. Why? Because it's on the right side of the equation with the term that has an x, and we're trying to get that x alone. So now we have 15 is equal to 3x because when I moved this to the other side of the equation, negative 15 became positive 15. And then we're going to divide by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, so 5 equals x. Okay, so I hope that helps walking through a couple of equations here, and I want you to try the others on your own. I will say if I was going to set up the next equation, negative 9 fourths as my y, is equal to 3 fourths x minus 5. I would do the same thing. I'd distribute this 3 fourths x and get that fraction again, and then I'm going to multiply everything by the reciprocal 4, so then I don't have to deal with the fractions. And if I multiply everything in this by 4, I want you to think about what I'm doing when I'm doing this, is I've got 4 over an invisible 1, is being multiplied by each fraction that's inside this parentheses. When I do that, 4 over 4 is 1, and that leaves me with each number that's the numerator. So I get negative 9 is equal to 3x minus 15.
And I'm gonna finish this one with you guys. That means we're gonna add 15 to both sides. Why? Because again, I'm trying to get that X by itself. Negative nine, positive 15 gives us six. Negative 15, positive 15 becomes zero. So we've eliminated those and we're gonna end up with three X on the right. Divide both sides by three and two equals X for this problem here. Okay, try it yourselves on y equals negative six and um, let me know if you guys have other questions. I'm watching my email and ready to help.